You Dance Moms are so predictable, and the longer you appear on Dance Moms, the more predictable you get. Christy, we know you can't take it when Chloe gets criticized, but do you always have to blow up before Abby finishes her sentence? And Holly, why do you look so painfully worried every single time Nia steps out on the stage? We've picked up on your habits in filming mistakes, and we're about to put them on display. <laughs> It's so easy to get distracted by all of the drama on Dance Moms, but if you dig a little deeper, you'll surely start to notice a handful of things that most people miss. Watch until the end and let us know how many of these things you noticed and how many of them you missed. Same costume, different solo. I'm not Becky Homecky. I don't whip up costumes. Coming up with new and improved costumes every single week can be downright impossible. This is especially true considering that many of the dance moms had to fabricate their own costumes. I'm trying to teach the children a lesson. They don't need a $500 costume to win. Did any of you notice that Maddie was wearing the exact same costume for her Angel and Manhattan solos? Costume Mishap once again, we're on the subject of costumes, but this time we're looking at Mackenzie, not Maddie. During the Winter's War performance, Maddie twirled Kenzie around and a piece of her costume fell off. The girls didn't seem to notice, but some eagle-eyed fans immediately saw the white ribbon fall off of Kenzie's dress. Holly's facial expressions. Watching your daughter perform on stage can be a whole lot of fun. But when it comes to Holly, it's safe to assume that it's a stressful ordeal. Every time Nia has a solo, Holly watches from the audience with the exact same look on her face. Her lips are pursed into an O, and her hands are held up in a praying motion. You have a look on your face, like you want her approval. Kelly's crazy eyes. But Holly isn't the only dance mom who gets a strange look on her face while her daughter is performing a solo. Have you ever noticed that Kelly gets a classic case of the crazy eyes every time she watches Brooke and Paige perform? Say what you want about Kelly, but her daughters are her pride and joy. Last second wardrobe changes. In season four, Kenzie's outfit went from put together to lacking before our very eyes. During rehearsals, Kenzie is seen wearing long black gloves, but when she performs her number, Love Overdose, the gloves are nowhere to be found. We wonder why she chose to ditch the gloves. <laughs> I love it. Maddie beat Cameron. Maddie's been winning solo titles since she was a little kid, so it came as no surprise when she won first place in Season 2, Episode 20. But what did come as a surprise was seeing Cameron in the background. Only three tenths of a point separated first from second. Turns out that Maddie and Cameron were competing for the same title and Maddie won by a landslide. Surprise, surprise! Superstitious Maddie it's no secret that the cast of Dance Moms is a little superstitious. The girls had a special handshake that they would perform before going out on stage, as well as a few favorite lucky numbers. But when it came to scoring solos, Maddie took things to the next level. Do I have a solo? Did any of you notice how Maddie crossed her fingers before Abby announced the week's soloist? Pyramid Swap Pyramid is grueling. Seriously. Pyramid days are tough for everyone, but apparently they're so tough that Abby has a hard time keeping track of who goes where. Despite Kalani being placed at the bottom of the pyramid and Jojo being placed in the middle row, the girls' pictures get swapped by the end of the scene. Who else noticed this pyramid day mistake? Tell us in the comments. Reusing costumes. Remember when we said that Maddie used the exact same costume while performing Manhattan and Angel? Well, she did it again during the group dance Frost. You can clearly see that Maddie is wearing the exact same white outfit in Season 4, Episode 13. We wonder how many times Maddie actually reused that classic look. Kendall in the background it's common knowledge that no one is supposed to be on the stage except for those who are performing. Well, it looks like Kendall missed this lesson because we clearly see her on stage during the Mini Mimes performance in Season 6, Episode 27. Kendall only appears for a few seconds, but her braids are super recognizable. The producers misspelled Kendall's name. Here's something that not a lot of people noticed during Kendall's Bring on the Boys solo. You would think that the producers of Dance Moms would dot their I's and cross their T's, but during this episode, they totally forgot the second L in Kendall's name. Welcome, Kendall. We wonder if Kendall herself is aware of this typo. Two places at the same time. 
It's no secret that the producers of Dance Moms alter their footage to make it look that much more dramatic. Do you guys remember when Vivi said the wrong studio's name in Season 1, Episode 3? Well, there's evidence of footage tampering in this episode thanks to Mackenzie. At first, she's on the stage with Vivi, but when we see Abby's reaction to Vivi's mistake, Kenzie is in the audience. Jill's the worst and best dance mom. If there's one thing Dance Moms fans have noticed, it's that Jill is the biggest hypocrite and instigator of all the Dance Moms. What genre is it anyway? The show's producers made another mistake in season 3 when they labeled Kenzie's solo as contemporary. During rehearsals, Abby made it clear that Kenzie's solo was acrobatic. Abby gets taken aback. If you thought that Abby wasn't scared of anything, you were wrong. Turns out she's scared of Minister Don, but we can't say we really blame her. Look at how Abby jumps when Don yells at her from behind. And that's a wrap. Let us know what your score is down below. Thanks for watching The Things. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.